welcome to today's short study of realities, written by Pastor Chris Oyahilome, Saturday 12th, December 2020. Pray for God's people in distress. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free cause and be glorified even as it is with you. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 1 In Acts chapter 12 verse 1 to 2 the Bible says Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex setting of the church and he killed James the brother of John with the sword. When the church heard that James had been arrested they must have thought James arrested. Nothing will happen to him. He is a man of faith. But once James was killed, it got their attention. Where was God? How did God allow it to happen? Some may have wondered, trying to put the blame on God. But it's not God that allows such things to happen, Jesus said, And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. John chapter 16 verse 23 then in Matthew chapter 28 verse 18 he declared, All authority in heaven and in earth has been given to me, and on the basis of that authority he said, Go and make disciples of all nations. Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 Jesus gave us his authority. He gave us his name, so it wasn't Jesus that let them kill James. It was the Christians that didn't do their job by exercising their authority in prayer. When Peter was arrested next, the Bible says, They, the church, prayed without ceasing. God intervened and Peter was released. Acts chapter 12, verse 5 to 7. So, every time you pray, you are making it legally possible for God to intervene in some ways that He wouldn't have had you not prayed. This is why we must pray for ministers of the gospel, an advancement of the ministry of reconciliation in these last days. The Apostle Paul wrote to the Christians in Colossae, without praying also for us that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ for which I am also in bound. Colossians chapter 4 verse 3 Since God already told them to go and preach the gospel, why did they need to pray to God to open for them a door of utterance? It tells you that there are adversaries in the world, so always pray for the churches of Christ around the world. Several reports confirm that Christians are the most persecuted group in the world. Many are in their distress, made to face the most inhuman treatment because of their faith in Jesus Christ. Through your prayers for them, they will be strengthened the Lord will intervene in their situations. Praise God. Prayer 
Dear Father, I pray for ministers of the gospel and God's people around the world that their strength fail not. I pray against men or institutions who foster persecution of Christians and hinder the spread of the gospel. We cut off the influence of such forces and their efforts are made futile. In spite of them, the gospel is spreading rapidly with the speed of the Spirit and prevailing in Jesus' name. Amen. Further study. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 1 to 2. Romans chapter 15, verse 30 to 32. Meditate on these words. Give yourself holy to them that in profiting we appear unto all. Have a blessed day.